Hello everyone! Today I am working in the book Johanna's Christmas by Johanna Basford. We will be colouring in this page here with the two deers, but today I wanted to do it a little bit different. I am sure that there are many who have received some colouring pencils for Christmas, and today I wanted to do a comparison between budget pencils and professional artist quality pencils dividing my page into two and using one style of pencils on each side. The pencil we will be using today are both made by Faber-Castell. For the first half of my page I will be using their classic range. Now this red box I am sure has been part of many a childhood. I can definitely remember having these growing up. They are good quality budget pencils and you can pick up one of these 24 packs for about 6 to 7 Australian dollars. For my second half I will be using my artist quality polychromos pencils. These are beautifully pigmented and a dream to work with, but it will set you back between 60 to 70 Australian dollars for a pack of 24. So let's get started with the Fabic Stell Classics and see how we go. Some of the first things I'm noticing is that I have to press a little bit harder to get the pigment down onto the paper, although for a budget pencil these actually do have a fairly decent pigment. I'm also noticing that it is harder to layer. I can only seem to layer about two different colours on top of each other, anything more and you're finding it hard to actually blend as much as you can with the other ones. However, I am still able to do a little bit of blending here, which is working out quite nicely. Now, I also thought I'd let you know that I have in fact sped up the movie here to about four times normal speed, just in case you wanted to follow along. For the bird, I did base it loosely on a robin, but took a little bit of artistic liberties on it. But I think it turned out rather cute. I do wish I would have been able to do a little bit more blending just to get some more shading happening. I had to use a little bit of black to do some more shading rather than the dark brown as it didn't turn out as dark as I wanted it. But overall I'm actually quite happy with how this bird turned out.
have to say I'm actually really impressed with the purples and the pinks I used for this flower. They actually blended really well and it turned out exactly the way I wanted it to do. There was only about three greens in the whole set of um, the Faber-Castell Classics so these are the ones I'm going to be using for all of the leaves and I'll try to do a few different techniques and a few different ways of doing them just to sort of mix it up a bit and show you how you can get lots of different variety just using a couple of pencils. You're not overly limited even though you're having only 24 pencils in your pack. Now, I did start here using the third of the greens and I kind of regretted it almost immediately and wish I hadn't put it on. It was just a little bit too bright for me, um, especially being a holly, but it's done now and I can't, can't really go back on it, but it turned out all right in the end. I did find that the dark green just didn't get quite as dark as I wanted it to do even trying to blend over it a few times so I had to go in with the black to create a little bit of depth and a little bit of shading. Now another thing that I'm noticing as well is that it's not as easy to pull the color out more when you're blending over the top as it is with the professional pencils. However, as you can see, it is blending reasonably well and I am able to sort of make a fairly decent gradient in the colours there as well.
the gold parts I ended up using orange and yellows. For the start I started out with a medium orange as well as the yellow but a little bit later I did end up getting a slightly darker orange as well for the darker shadings just because I couldn't get it quite as deep as I wanted it. where I was hoping that it was a little bit more pigment however for a budget pencil this red isn't doing too badly would just have liked it to be a little bit more depth of color and not so washed out especially for a Christmas flower but really that is just me being picky centers I used gray and black and for the little pollen dots around it I just used the regular yellow. Once again I ended up going in with the black just to create a little bit of depth and a little bit of shading and it actually worked out pretty good. slightly darker orange just to get a little bit more shading and a little bit more depth and I did end up using the same orange and going over some of the pieces I had already done in the yellow and orange. Kind of gives a little bit of a frozen association, but I think it looks really pretty.
this big bauble which is in the center of the picture will actually be split right down the middle and I'm actually really excited to see the difference in color because they'll be so close up to each other so I've decided to go with a gold red and green theme for this one and I think it's gonna look really pretty It's time to start with the little deer down the bottom. I've just decided to make it a normal deer and I'm going to do grey antlers using the greys and the black and I'm just going to use browns down the bottom. There's not a whole lot of browns to choose between so I'm just going to have to go with what I have. shaded as I would have liked. I would have liked to got a little bit darker in some of the areas where the sun or the moon or <laughs> whatever light source possibly wouldn't hit like the tummy and sort of underneath the knees and stuff but you know what it's actually not that bad. It's turning out really nice. Thank you. 
finish off this little blanket over the reindeer as well as the star in the center and then I'm going to go ahead and finish off all of the leaves and all the other golden bits and pieces that I've already shown you how to do just so you don't get bored sitting there watching everything twice. And here is the first half of the picture done. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. For a budget pencil, you know, you've gotten really a quite a depth of colour and I didn't have to work too hard to put it onto the paper. So the pigmentation is really good and you can actually do a fair amount of blending for a budget pencil. So I have to say, uh, say that I am quite happy with how this turned out and I'm looking forward to starting on the next half. So I've got my polychromos pencils out and I have gone ahead and taken out the colors that are closest to the ones from the classic set just so I don't go ahead and just go completely crazy with all the different colors I have in 120 set because I don't think that would have been a fair comparison. So I've got the ones that I need and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start and see how we're going to go from here. Because I used black on the other bird, I decided to go ahead and do the same thing here. I just wanted to really compare the exact same colors and how they work. straight away see how much more pigmentation we already have the shading is just working really really well and I'm not working hard at all to get this color down onto the paper started using the red that I picked I realized that I was not happy with the color it wasn't as close as I had hoped to the classic pencil and I did end up going in and changing it after a little while just to find one that was closer in color just to have a more fair comparison
changing the red was definitely the right choice. This one is much brighter and much more close in color to the one from the Faber-Castell Classic range. And how cute is this bird turning out? I'm loving the shading and I'm finding it much much easier to do build up the layers and do more blending. Now with the foliage, I usually go with quite a fair amount of greens, but to make it fair, I stuck with the three greens that were closest to the classic range. So I chose the pine green and the may green, and I also did end up using the medium phthalo green as well for that center holly leaf that I didn't like the look of from the classic range. Once again here I'm finding the layering and the blending a whole lot easier. I can go in a lot darker just using the green and I don't have to use quite as much black and the black that I do use I can blend it in quite neatly just so it's not just like a black line. I'm really liking the depth that it's creating there.
I actually prefer the classic gold pencil to the one in the Polychroma set. The one in the Polychromas actually turned out more silver than gold. Now that I'm working right in the center, I can really see where the polychromos really comes into its own. It is so much more pigmented, I'm not working very hard to lay down the layers, and they are really, really bright colors. Using the red here I can really see the benefits of building up your layers and this is much easier to do with the polychromas compared to the classics. You can see the red is far brighter and doesn't feel as washed out. And once again here you can see how that gold pencil looks silver, it just does not compare to the classic.
say that even though it's easy to lay down the color, I actually prefer the result of the teal in the classic set compared to the polychromos. I just find that the teal is, well, it's got that little bit more green in it that it needs. And this one I think is just a touch too blue. The shading and the lighting in the blue center part though, I much prefer with this one. It is far easier to get a good contrast between the colors. of the leaves off camera. For the flowers though, I really wanted to show how the polychromos does shine. I started going in with my reddish brown actually, which is one of the ones I used for my bird at the start. Then I went in afterwards with my red and it just really started building up the color so much better than I could have done just using the red from the classic set. turned out. No washed out reds here.
the deer I used black and warm grey five for the antlers. Then I went ahead and used my walnut brown for the edges of the fur. I then went in with my burnt sienna brown as a bit of a lighter colour to blend it in with. a little bit of black just to accentuate some shades and to get the hooves nice and coloured. I then did a few more layers with the burnt sienna just to get a bit more shading happening and a bit more depth to the little deer. However, I did find that I needed a little bit more yellow, so I did go and find my burnt ochre as well, and I added that at the very end. ahead and finish off the little snowflake in the middle and the picture is all done. Watching the picture here side by side I have to say I'm very impressed or heart with how the Faber Castell Classic range held up against the polychromos. It's a slightly bit less pigmented but overall I think the colour is actually really good definitely something to recommend if you want to start out with some colouring. Thank you so much for watching along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little experiment and I hope you got inspired to go out and colour a bit for yourself. Have a fantastic day and I will see you again next time. <music>